It is a tough exercise harvesting such produce from farms across the country into markets via production processes tied to value addition. The Uganda National Bureau of Standards now expects to utilize 2 billion shillings provided by government this financial year in ensuring micro, small and medium enterprises are certified. So we are hoping that we will get to a point where we can assess what is Uganda's situation as far as the available standards. With reference to the products that are being exported, are the standards available? If they are, how can we verify the quality of those products before they go? If the standards are not available, then we develop them as soon as possible with reference to the requirements in the countries where these products are being taken so that people can be comfortable that their products meet the standards even before they send them out into the international market. The Federation of Small and Medium Enterprises Uganda thinks that a smoother initiation under this certification campaign for selected micro, small and medium enterprises must be defined. Identify genuine SMEs and make sure that they have their product certified. As I said, certify for what? For the market. So UNBS should work with these SMEs to say, okay, what is your target market? What are their requirements? And then you work backwards. Not just saying, oh, once you have the S mark, we are good to go. Once you have the Q mark, you're sorted. Re resolve the other issues. No. Walk down, uh, handhold the SMEs so that they can actually sell. The Uganda Industrial Research Institute continues to act as an incubator for hundreds of SMEs. However, they also admit that sustainability upon training these producers on best practices still requires hard work. We have no option but to grow our industries, indigenous industries. And for indigenous industry, like any other industry, can only grow based on three pillars appropriate technology, man, uh, high-skilled manpower, and uh, affordable financing. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.